हमारे होटल को भ्यू बड़ा बरंडा सरंडा बड़ा ओसन भ्यू तल स्विमिंग पुल भो Yeah, so just sitting up on the north shore, snorkeling around, potentially with some turtles. Okay, sound good? Yeah. All right. So yeah, we're in Waikiki right now. Yeah, back in the day, this was the this was the uh, agricultural area. And this was all agricultural. Yeah, it's all marshlands. We used to go taro. Okay. You know what taro is? Yeah. yeah. You guys go to the blue wall, there's going to be that purple, purple starch that yeah, called poi and that comes from the entire combo we say in Hawaii. And that's the most important part of our culture, it's always been called for us to talk about the holidays and stuff. Like you're a building on the stairs now. Look at the building page right now, what's the key to? Go. Anybody try surfing yet? No? Okay guys, there's one thing, one thing that you gotta do while you guys are here a little, little while ago. <laughs> Yeah, yeah it's surf, good thing with surfing is it's a sport that you never have to stop. Yeah, all you gotta do is get a bigger and bigger board <laughs> as you get older, yeah? Get a big, a big 13 foot board, you just look at the way you're catching it already. Yeah, but while you guys are here, go try surfing, Waikiki. Right? Make sure diving it is easy for you at yeah, first. If it's hard for you, go check out our botanical gardens after that. But again, we have, we have some awesome botanical gardens. They're all free to go. Most of them are free to go to. And so, I'll send you guys on this later on. Up here in the front of Diamond, as you notice, a little more energy in the ocean. Texture out there. 
but a cool thing with Dive Place, it's a big, perfect spot for block like you keep for all the training. Our prevailing winds here in Hawaii. Yeah, they blow east to west, but on the outside, you can see all the wind on the outside. Yeah. So they put, it's actually very smooth there, I'm using big white flags on the way. There's the Diamond Head Lighthouse, yeah, so you know how the President of Hawaii. Yeah, that's where most of our casualties take place, and most of our rescues have to take place. So. You guys are going to the water while you're here, especially if you're in a more remote place and you're using a peak access. You've got an access coming up right here. This green gate, you can see a yellow sign above it. That's the address for the beach house. So let's get one thirty. Yeah, but they really like to take away from the beauty of the area and all the bunker signs. Like, where do we get to go? That's when they stop. And like, the hollow was the only one that was able to sneak in. The only one that's, um, that's where a lot of the uh, like, famous people come and walk you out. They hang out over there. But it's open to the public. You have to go and go check it out. Yeah, you never know what you're going to see. Yeah, and then uh, they have a dolphin lagoon. There's some more dolphins in there. Yeah, like 350 bucks an hour. Yeah. But if you go look at the turtle, they have a turtle lagoon. They have really nice restaurants too. You want to get all pretty, have date night. Yeah, they do breakfast here, food dinner, yeah. Tree Club. So if you're into golf, yeah, you're familiar with the PGA Tour. This is where they hold the Sony Open. Yeah, right over there. Big event. Yeah. I'm big on it, yeah, me and my twin brother, we grew up over on the Hilo side, yeah, so on the east side, and in the jungle. Yeah, and we grew up completely off grid, no more running water, no more electricity, no more sewer lines, no more paved roads. Yeah, the dump truck coming twice a week is like, oh, this is nice. Yeah, it's like, it's like, Yeah, but uh, nice stuff, yeah, it was, it was rough on that thing, but now all nice and turf. And that's that's thanks to uh, Mr. Dwayne Johnson, yeah, the rock. So he started this fund, yeah, that he's, he's uh, uh, funding for all the high schools, public high schools, to have brand new. Yeah, you guys know what that is? Torching? That's our torching ground. So you hold a torch or a lantern, walk around the shallow waters. Yeah, when the fish will start to come to you, you scoop them right now. Yeah, Jesus. it's one of my favorite ways to go fish. I think I'm just, like I was saying, fishing over here living on a wall here. Yeah. I think I, I tie the bucket to my waist and everything, walk around. <laughs> But the fish, they come to you, so you go on the, the new moon and that, that's when you go uh, uh, torching. But the fish come to you because they see your torch or see your light and they think it's the moon. Yeah, during the full moon, yeah, they call it a moonlight. Like a, a 2,500 foot cliff. Yeah, looking over all of the east side. Yeah, so it's uh, really cool and maybe, maybe not your height. Yeah. Like put it at the end of your trip. Yeah, don't, don't do it right now if you just got it. Because you're going to be hobbling around for the rest of your trip. So, yeah. On the Umo Bay. So if you look around the bay, you're going to see a big lizard wrapped around the bay. At the front is the head of a point there on the right. The shoulder right across from us, that back is driving on the tail. Do you guys see him? Yeah, so in Hawaiian legend, yeah, that's the father wrapped around his daughter. Yeah, Hana Umo is this beautiful woman, and all the men were falling in love with her. Yeah, the, Hanuma's uh, father was a kahuna, yeah, and uh, he's had the savior from Pele. Pele is the goddess of fire in our, our culture. Below right here, we got the gun range, archery range. People do this for fun. Yeah. Yeah. You, you're gonna trip out. You're gonna go do this. Like, if you guys go, you're gonna see like there's like this group of these these uh, experienced guys. Yeah. In the 60s and up.
say ooh. They say ah. All, all the cliffs now, yeah? No more valley, so this is the beginning of the big crack for the volcano to crack it up. So we'll have to, you know, we got the two islands out there, different colors, and the darker one in the part of the volcano, and the lighter one came up afterwards. So there's the pressure. Got some surfers down the road. There you go, you can see that. I used to have, uh, never had all these palm trees when he first built the property. And right inside there is, is their dining, dining room. So we would know their home because we get the Secret Service guy standing in front. Everyone would pull over, pull over, pull over. So we pull over. And in the beginning, we'd see him and Michelle and they're eating breakfast. And we'd all press up on the glass, looking at the head, taking pictures. And the Secret Service guy would be yelling at us, like, get out of here. It's chaos. Everything is poor, man. And why would you want to live around the main road? And tell them, look at his backyard. He got live in all of it. Party over here today. Rescue guys, there's a world out there. Need to pick it up. <laughs> right back in here, that's our arena. Don't laugh. We go crazy in there. Yeah, uh, the Kauai is a huge part of, of uh, Hawaiian culture. The cows just started multiplying out, not getting uh, hunted by any predators. Yes, and they're eating all the plants up like that. And they started getting Kalani Kupule. You guys know who Kamehameha is? The king, yeah, he was the first and only chief to ever succeed in conquering all the modern weapons. He had cannons and muskets. Yeah, so he went up and just came up the island chain and just annihilated each island. Yeah, so he came to Oahu with his 12,000 words. They said that their army stretched from downtown all the way to Diamond Day. And they came up on shore, coming and wanting access. And so he sent out delegates around the world to go and uh, Treaty signed recognizing Hawaii as a sovereign nation. Yeah, so that we would, we would kind of have some backup like that. Yeah. He's a super, super uh, uh, visionary, I would say. Yeah. So he was born in 1858 and he died in 1819. He passed As we come forward, you should be able to look back at it and see the stairway coming on the, down the ridge line. Yeah, but to go away is much safer and, <laughs> and it's only like three, four hours. Yeah, it's, uh, it's kind of... Yeah, what we're going to be checking out over here is uh, a non-active Buddhist temple. That's an exact replica of the of, uh, the Yoro Inn over in Kyoto, Japan. And even pit ticket. Yeah. So look over to your right side. There's the temple.
shore if they cause earthquakes. Uh, they register the, on the Richter scale. But look at this to our right. Why? Yeah. Yep, got the jumping rock on the far side. See you guys up there contemplating the lives. When you come here in the morning time early, the dolphins all come into the bay. So you come swim with the spinner dolphins. And they hunt in the bay all night. So that's super cool. He was smart though, he 